This is not a timetable, a binding timetable. It merely asks the President to give us a flexible vision, a timetable of when he would intend for this to be over. Uh, and uh, the Senator from Michigan tries to reassure us that the President has announced a start date for us to get out of Afghanistan. Well, that doesn't really work because how do you feel the people of that area in the world would be reassured if we're going to only start withdrawing the troops in July of 2011? You can take one troop out. That starts it. That's not a vision of when we intend to complete it. The Senator suggests that somehow this sends the wrong message in the region. Well, actually, the wrong message is that we intend to be there forever. We don't intend there to be forever. But you know what? After nine years, people start wondering. Nine years. Nine years with no vision of when we might depart. In fact, I think the absolute worst message in the region is an open-ended commitment. The worst thing we can do is not give some sense to the people of that region and to the American people and to our troops that there is some end to this thing. And all we ask in this amendment is some vision from the President about when he thinks we might complete this task. So when this amendment is properly characterized, it is actually a way to help us make sure that the Taliban and Al-Qaeda and others do not win the hearts and minds of the Afghan people because they need to be reassured that we intend to make sure that their country comes back to them and that we will not occupy it indefinitely.